Pressure QC is a smart sensor that measures pressure, speed, and number of spins, tilt, as well as scuffing that your containers experience on a bottling or filling line. Use Pressure QC to determine scuffing and squeeze load in glass, PET, and canning industries to reduce expensive label damage and extend bottle life. The Pressure QC system includes exact replicas of your containers, be it a bottle or can that's outfitted with pressure-sensitive film. The system also includes Bluetooth wireless location tracking beacons, a tablet, and access to a web-based dashboard. During initial setup, place beacons on the various areas of the line that you want to track and appear in your data run. A data run is the process of tracking a sensor as it's processed through the line. When you're ready to start a data run and receive real-time information on the pressure and scuffing your containers are experiencing, select the container that will be used on the line for the data run. Use the provided magnet to turn it on. Start by opening and logging into the tablet app and clicking on the Start button. Click OK. You're now ready to pair your sensor to the app. Click on the green Play button. To calibrate the sensor replica, as directed on screen, set the device upright on a flat surface. Click OK. Wait until the sensor replica is connected to the tablet and place it on the line to begin recording data. The tablet app will immediately begin to display the real-time amount of pressure, spin, and scuffing data that the sensor is receiving. When the sensor replica detects a beacon, the beacon will automatically appear on the data trend. As you can see, rotation is reflected in the measurements, as well as any pressure that is detected in the healer shoulder. Rotation that's combined with pressure is calculated and visualized on screen, within the scuff index shown to the right. The scale is 0 to 100, and it corresponds with a green, yellow, and red color scale. Should your pressure QC sensor tip on the line, a notification appears in the top left corner with an icon that mimics the movement of your sensor. If the sensor stops on the line, this will be reflected by a red line on screen. Scuffing or any other measurement can be removed from the index by deselecting it within the legend. The legend button can also be used to enable additional data parameters. To make manual notes on the data run, click on the Note button to add event notes. Click Save to confirm and add the comments to the data run. Manual events can be added by clicking on the data trend. When your run is complete, click on the red stop button. Enter the name of your sensor run and click Save to continue. To start a new data run, simply restart by clicking the green play button. There's no need to pair the sensor replica to the Maz tablet app again or to calibrate, saving substantial time when troubleshooting issues on the line. When you're finished with the sensor replica and wish to upload the data run, click the back button to exit the data trend screen. The data will automatically upload to the cloud. Another option is to export data. Click View Runs, select the desired data run, and click OK. If the preview is acceptable, click the Excel file icon to name the data run and export the data to a CSV. A selection of reports and complete data run history is available anytime within the MAS portal. Talk to us about getting started with Pressure QC.